elevating the outdoor living. You cannot beat like the views of walking around the neighborhood and stuff like that. It's some pretty sweet shots, aren't they? I'm heading downtown Chicago to a course, it's pitch to press, it's like a business class for um, really interior decorators, not much landscape designers, but I sort of like to steer the company in operation that way, so I like to go to a lot of these events, they're very professional. It was teaching us how to promote, manage, and promote your business and get your stuff out there in a better way and how to promote yourself to PR firms and things like that. Talking about pictures, content. I'm blogging in like third person today because my wife has her new vlog and, and, and I'll leave her link at the bottom of the, the vlog. She took off with my apparatus. Like, you know, I've done 55, 60 vlogs without my tools. So here I am critical now that I have the microphone and the thing to hold the phone. So now I don't want to do my vlog without it. So so, you know what I mean? Go figure, but the quality, I got quality sound now. I don't want to do a vlog without it. So this vlog is sort of like third person, meaning it already happened. It happened earlier today. So I'm just now coming back around. I gotta say, I love coming to the Mart. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. I, I mean, if you're into design or anything else, these are like explosions of the mind. You know what I mean? If you look around and you see uh, brand new patio furniture, or you see, and there's different styles of furniture, you know, in your brain and you go like the Home Depot and Lowe's, nothing against them, they got some great products. I'd love to work with them one day, actually. Uh, hint, hint, Lowe's, Home Depot, if you're listening, make sure, hint, hint, you know, as we gain more followers, we're gonna see if you guys can jump on because we can really do some good. But anyway, there's different styles and different ideas. Like you didn't really realize how great outdoor furniture could be until you come to this place because there's so much stuff. I got to work with some interior decorators and I like to work with them because they have the pulse on the homeowners, they have a pulse on the builders. So when we design, we like to design a conjunction of what they do. So I like to, to, to deal in their world and see what's going on. But uh, one of the, the ladies I was talking to, her name was Robin. She had a really good statement today. Kind of sort of shook me up a little bit. She said there's two types of designs because design is fueled by product sales and that's what a lot of companies are doing now what they have is they have the free designer who would show up hint hint sounds like the landscape industry free designer who shows up scribble something on a piece of paper or even draw a nice design but they're only drawing it to push their particular product or their feature of what they're doing and then you have design which is innovative new styles um, new materials always constantly changing separate items separate things uh, different a different uh, manufacturer in one corner another manufacturer in the other corner that's what you have designs we're bringing something new and these are what especially the new millennium she notices is who they're hiring they want something new they want something more exciting they're really not into that production style design process so hey guys keep a lookout for different styles different features as we elevate this outdoor living and keep moving forward it's only going to get better from here hey thanks for watching